Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review and uh, already getting close to the 100 mark. can't believe it, in a few months it just goes to show you. I'm either a love, love reviewer or I'm an absolute alcoholic. <coughs> uh, if I'd have started six or seven years ago reviewing beers, just before I went to work at Sainsbury's, I would be on uh, a thousand easily by now. Um, you know, sad to think I didn't take the plunge all those years ago. You know, it's uh, uh, I've seen people over the years on YouTube become, you know, it's become good for them. Um, not really doing that. I'm doing that more for my own um, reasons. But uh, you know, it's great for me to, you know, use the excuse to try different beers. Um, but uh, it's good to see which is the best beers out there. So today and I've actually got a Green King glass so Green King makers or owners of Abbott Ale and this is the reserve version Abbott Ale the one you find in cans and that and bottles is normally five percent might be a bit different in pubs because sometimes they have, it, they have it weak and sometimes a bit stronger this is the reserve so six and a half percent made by Westgate Brewery from 1799 it says there so it's rich and malty and it says from the master brewers of Abbott Ale comes this super, super premium beer Abbott Reserve brewed in limited quantities this is an exceptional treat for that special occasion Abbott Reserve is a distinctive full bodied smooth and mature beer bursting with rich fruit cake and toffee flavours sounds exquisite now I've had it many times before and uh, it, it is a bit I really like but has anything changed? We we're about to find out. Let's get pouring and as you can see Green King bottle at uh, glass. So seems to come out the bottle a little bit lighter than it is in the bottle. Good carbonation and lacing as you can see. Uh, good, just slightly off white head. Very malty. There is a smell of rich fruit cake there. You know, it's got that richness to it that you'd expect. Quite light for such a strong beer. You know, you look at that, you think it was, I don't know, you think it was the original Abbott. It better not be. So, leave it there a second. Let me just get up on my phone. Yeah, Abbott is available everywhere. You know, if you can't find Abbott, then I'll, I'll be very surprised. Abbott Reserve, um, usually it's just Tesco's and Morrison's of the big four that stock it. Um, I don't think you're going to find anywhere else you know unless the likes of um, Retro's or Marks and Sparks uh, sell it in their areas right internet's on the go slow so like I've already said very malty that rich fruit cake you know you, you do get that Oh, there's a strength in it that you don't see by the look of it. I mean, you look at that dark amber, you know, um, light mahogany, something like that, colour. Yeah, definitely. Um, rich fruit cake, definitely. Bits of toffee. So, and it's still not working, come on. So, I don't know, I'm going to get no reviews off the internet at the moment, it's not having it. That's a shame, but not too much of a shame. Mm. <clears throat> a little bit of aftertaste. 
Not too much. Lovely strength to it, though. You know, nice strength. Um, I do like Abbott um, more out of the cask, dra on draft rather, than I do um, out of the bottle. I mean, it's nice out of the bottle and the can, don't get me wrong. But the cask, I find, is the is the better alternative. Let's see if I can just get this up. So it's always nice to read what other people say if my phone's not playing silly buggers. Abbott Ale Reserve. All right. And I'll be going to play. Doesn't look like it. Still not having it. No, not having it at all. So yeah, oh, a lovely flavouring. Um, I've recently found that as I'm going down the glass on some beers, anyway, I had two on the same night, did the same thing. So whether it something in my taste buds was, wasn't right that night, or they just picked two beers that did the same thing to me, where the first part of the pint, they tasted reasonable or, or very good, and as more got down to the bottom, I was getting sickly sweet flavours. And uh, and both pints were lower than my uh, initial estimates. Um, we shall see. I mean, the more you get into a pint, the more that pint washes around. And you, you know, especially if you've been drinking something else before and once it gets into your system, you know, it's going down and it's going down your throat. You're feeling the warmth from it, especially getting the warmth from this. Lovely. It actually tastes strong. It don't look, you know, much like a 6.5 percenter. It does taste like a 7, 7.5 seven percenter. Whereas I did, I reviewed Ode Roger the other night and that was the reverse. It was a 7.4 percenter. Tasted like a 6 percenter. Amazingly, you know. Amazing how some beers... Uh, taste stronger and some beers taste a lot weaker you know Ode Roger was one of them that was also a bit sickly sweet uh, but it wasn't so many weeks ago so I presume that I may have got um, there was a batch that had not brewed to the same as another batch I mean I brewed beers and I've known and, and rosé wines and that and I know that um, sometimes they brew absolute perfection. And then another time I've done it, it's been a bit sweet, sugary. So especially the rosé that I did a few weeks ago. So it does happen, you know, even the best uh, commercial brewers. But I, I would presume they've got tasters or taste the bottle in, in that range or taste the pint in that range before they let it go out to the public. Just so that it's, they know it's, it's near enough what... Um, what they, you know, originally brew. <sighs> anyway, back to this pint. Internet's not having it, so turn that off. Yeah, like I've already said, lovely strength to it. You, what they're telling you on the bottle, you definitely get in, you're getting that, that fruity, rich fruitiness. I even got a bit of banana down. Uh, certainly toffees, you know, like a strong toffee. A little bit of roasted qualities in there. And, it, you know, it's one of them that um, if you were to have three or four in, of these in a night, you'd know about it because, oh, I can feel it already. I mean, I've just reviewed a plum cider uh, record, like only, only 4%. And uh, really nice, really sweet. This is... You know, very different to that. Very nice. Just how I remembered it. You can taste like the original Abbott Ale in it. But then you get that oomph where, you know, you get the extra 1.5% volume. Which doesn't sound a lot, but obviously <clears throat> it adds to what the original was. I mean, if they made it 8%, 8.5%, that'd be something interesting. But uh, yeah, so before I get too battered, um, 
this hasn't changed all the way down it's been as nice as the first um, mouthful um, in fact it's only got better to be fair so out of five oof. it was always going to be a, a top beer for me so I'm going to give it a 4.7 out of 5. Always was going to be a top beer. Uh, I was quite mortified with old, Rod, old Roger the other day. How bad that tasted. Uh, but this has um, lived up to my expectations. Tastes good. Definitely one to try if you see it anywhere uh, in a bottle. And especially if you ever see it on tap. You know. Because uh, it's, it's Abbott and a, and a bit more. got that bit you know you, you get that barley wine taste to it a little bit where you know you know the, the the malt levels have been oomphed up a bit just to give you that extra kick in that very good spot on and dare I say it, a good green king beer although Abbott is the name <laughs> thanks for watching see you soon